Hello everybody, we have another ultimate pressure cooker meal today. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm here. We have four pressure cookers. We have the four quart Cook's Essentials, the six quart Cuisinart, the brand new eight quart Instant Pot, and the 10 quart Elite Platinum, also known as Big Blue. Okay, we're gonna cook a chicken in each one of these. I was gonna cook an exact size chicken in each one of these to compare them. And what would make this all different? Well, first of all, I don't think the exact size chicken is gonna fit in the four quart, but we're gonna find out. But this is what's gonna be different here. This one's gonna have chipotle flavor. This one's gonna have lemon pepper flavor. This one is going to have garlic butter chicken flavor and last but not least the 10 quart is going to have brown sugar honey and onions Sam okay four chickens I'll show you come here here's our beautiful fresh Purdue chickens whole young chickens arranged in order of the sizes this is five and a quarter pounds this is 4.1 for the smallest ones and these are all in the middle here so they're all right around five pounds except this guy but the four quart is pretty small i don't know if this is going to fit all right let me clean these up and get started on our browning mode let's start by putting these all on browning mode this one says brown when you put it on brown you put some olive oil inside okay I'm going to try to do these equally. A little olive oil. I put it on brown. This one brown is browning. See, we got a browning function here. Browning, start. Take that rack out. Olive oil. Okay. Now, in here it's called saute. Saute. Some olive oil in there. Oh. The elite for browning, you put on fish and vegetables. Let me go over there and do that, okay? Here I am, across the room. Fish and vegetables is browning in the elite okay olive oil all right we're gonna brown and look crazy in a minute here got my chickens cleaned off back there i don't know if you can see them i'm gonna pat them dry because oil and water don't mix too good oh is there a blue fuse see i knew it all right i was wondering if i was gonna blow that circuit breaker all right i'm gonna I'm gonna spread these out in another circuit. I'm right back. All right, I got them back on. But guess what? Guess what I learned in that disaster? The Cuisinart went back to zero. The Instant Pot went back to zero. The Elite stayed in browning mode. And so did the Cook's Essentials. See? So that's a good thing, right? In case of a power failure. Back on browning, start. Saute. There you go. All right, heat them up, heat them up, heat them up. I'm gonna get them chickens. We're spread out now. We got we got two circuits going. That wasn't bad. I had them in a power strip, so that means that's ready. So the power strip just shut off for safety. Okay, let me get some chickens over here. All right, olive oil's good. All padded dry. A little extra. Safe food handling gloves on. See? Oh, that might fit. It might fit. Woo! All right, let's not get ourselves splattered up. I'm gonna brown these just to get them brown. A one, a two, a one, two. And four chickens and four pressure cookers. Coming at you, hold on one time. What an adventure in dining, and cooking, and eating. 
right, all right. Let's clean this up a little bit. And uh, I'll give you an aerial view of this, this excitement here. Yeah, yeah. Woo. All right, I see those two went out again because they're the two biggest ones. All right, let me switch something around again here again again. All right, we're all back, we're all back. Trying to roll these around a little bit. It's essentials. Cleasing art. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now these guys kept shutting off, remember? So it ain't ready. It ain't sizzling yet. You know any sizzling over there? I want to come over there. Sizzling. That's the biggest one. Got a lot of room in that guy. Alright. Yeah, black and blue. I know what to do. Alright. I'm going to continue to roll these around. Burn them up. And get our flavoring ready. Ooh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a maniac meal. You gonna like it, huh? Mm-hmm. Chickens for a week. Chicken sandwiches, chicken salad, chicken for Cheetos, chicken dessert, chicken pie, chicken ice cream, chicken tacos, chicken soup, chicken bacon and eggs. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right, I had to completely split them up. See, now I got two here and two back there on the counter, okay? It's just too much power drawing, especially when Big Blue kicks on. You know? Look how we're going. Oh man, it's, it's raining grease over here. And we're getting brown. And we're getting brown. I'm almost ready to turn them down. Alright? Exciting, isn't it? It's been 15 minutes of browning. Look at the Cuisinart. Nice. The Instant Pot, not so nice for browning so far. Cook's Essentials was real good. And the Elite was okay. Alright, now they're all in standby mode. I'm gonna start putting their flavors in. Okay. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna roll that one around a little more. But first, let's get started with this Chipotle in the little wall. This Cook's Essentials came with a small rack, which I'm gonna Try to slip under there just to try to keep it off the bottom, you know. Mm. I'm glad it fit. I'm glad it almost a five pound chicken fit in here. That's where I could use some help, huh? All right, leave the juice in there. It's just olive oil. Put that down. Mmm, there's one. Uh, the Elite has also a rack. Let me find that. No, the Elite does not have a rack. The Cuisinart and the Instant Pot do. Okay, so. What's going in here? Oh yeah, barbecue. Barbecue and honey going in here. Holy morning. Whoa, wait. All right. All right. It's gonna be okay. You just don't worry about it, all right? Where's that can of uh, Chipotle pepper? We've been using this lately. We like it. If you like your spice. Mm. Remember? This has such a good flavor. Got some peppers in there. And they're spicy peppers too. See that? I'm going to rinse out this can. Or I'm going to fill this can with water. Get all the goodness out of it. Twice. That's two cups of water, along with my chipotle seasoning. One and a half. Where do you see this one? I'm so amazed that this whole chicken fit in that four quart. That's great. That's great for you to know, right? Yes. One little one. Now, I don't want to start these, right, I'm going to start them all at the same time, okay? Let's move to the elite, since we're on this side of the room. Okay. Elite, what we got in here? Oh yeah, barbecue and honey. 
I'm gonna throw an onion in there. Barbecue sauce. See, this is another lesson to show you that you can put anything you want in the pressure cooker. For instance, chickens, and you can flavor them however you like. Oh, you really see this one. You, know, you can flavor it however you like. It's gonna come out delicious. I'm gonna put about a cup and a half of water in here and rinse it around, pour it around the bottom. Because I leave, like to leave the coating on the, on the top. So it, Big sand, see, not too much water in there. It's only like a cup, plus I got this barbecue for liquid. Make sure it's not stuck. Stuck! The old honeybee. Just for a little extra. Whoa, yeah, that's gonna cook in. That's gonna cook in, you see it? That's gonna cook in. Mm, these are making some good sandwiches all week, aren't they? Last but not least, an onion if you like. If not, forget it. Okay, put it on. Pressure mode. We did a lot of splattering around here. I have to wipe everything up a little bit. All right, still, I'm not starting these to the other ones already, so come back over here. Cuisinart does have a little rack, so let me get that little rack under there. Carefully. Nice. Cuisinart's good, see? Nice non stick. Easy to handle. Okay, now some lemons. Remember lemons? Let me cut these up a little bit. Still there? Start with one cup. Down the side, we don't want to rinse the good stuff off. One, let's see, two cups. Two cups of water. Boy, that smells lemony. Right. Put the lid on this one. Pressure mode. Come over to the instant pot. Last but not least, garlic butter. Coming up to be completely honest. This one didn't brown as good as the other ones. So I put my rack in there though, see, so I can put it out like that. But I'm kind of disappointed with that. I had enough olive oil in there and the skin kind of stuck to the bottom. I know you're going to tell me what I did wrong, but well, how could I have done something wrong? It's stainless. And I mean some garlic. So when I do garlic, I like to cut the slits. Even if it don't have no skin, it's going to be good some good chicken. That's for damn sure. And I cut my garlic in slivers, and I stick them in. Okay? And you can do that if you want, but you ain't got to. Okay? Let's see. That's how I like it. Cause I like it. Put some inside, some around, more inside, more around, 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 around. I got a stick of butter here. Stick of butter going in. Then inside too. Put half of that stick of butter inside. Put that on top. Mm. It's gonna be delicious, even if it don't look that great right now, because of uh, a failure in browning on my part. I also got some garlic powder I'm gonna put on here too. See, granulated garlic. Powder. You won't like that one. Got some flavor today. That's for sure. Two cups of water. One. One is two. Two. Maximum steamage capabilities. I think we're one more in there. Why? Two and a half. I don't know. Just one, two. Maybe we'll deglaze the bottom of our disaster. What do you think of that? Somebody's gonna have a lot of dishes to do tonight. Mmm. Guess what it's gonna be? Me, of course. 
put the nice tinkly sounding lid on lock it in place and you know how long we're gonna go with these 25 minutes 25 minutes okay so we're gonna go poultry for 25 minutes now wait a minute and then we're gonna go menu high for 25 minutes this ain't a race now ah so far start all right they start at the same time now over here we're gonna go here we're gonna go pressure cook time 25 minutes Five. And then here, we're gonna press meat and chicken and go up to 25. Can you see that one? Yeah, you can see that one. Oh, 26, wait a minute. I'm gonna do it just right. Meat and chicken, go up to 25. It's hard to see with this glare, you know? There, all right. Now, let's see who's gonna win. Four pressure cookers, four chickens. Four different flavors. Oh. All right, let me clean up half of this mess for a while. I hope you like it so far. Mm. I try not to make it long and boring. I try to cut it up, make it short and sweet. Because we just want to eat. All right, back in a couple minutes. Out of these four, the Elite seems to be coming up to pressure first. Although we have the problem with this valve that I talked about earlier, remember? See? I always have to do that since it was new. No customer service. They wouldn't answer me. They didn't even have a real website, but it works. After it settles down, see, but it's not up to pressure, but see what I mean? Everything else is normal. These guys are working pretty normally. They must be related. Pressure's not up, not up. When the pressure comes up on this one, that little light will stop blinking. I don't think you can see it. Oh, look at that. Blew that circuit out again. They're coming up to the pressure. Hang on. It's a lot of power. Turned off one of the studio lights. Maybe that'll help. If you don't mind. You can still see. And the Elite is up to pressure. There's a P on it. Okay? Keep me updated. The Cook's Essentials just came up to pressure right alongside the Elite one minute later. And these two guys, Instant Pot and Cuisinart, have not come up to pressure yet. The cheaper ones right now are performing better than the more expensive ones that I always talk good about. But these are good. I ain't putting these down at all. I just had a problem with my power going off and on a little bit, you know. But let's see. All right, this didn't start counting down yet. Hang on. We're all down in the teens now. 14, 16, 12, and 10 over there. Okay, we're almost done. And we're gonna release the pressure naturally this time for about 10 minutes or as long as I can stand it. Okay, it's a close race here. Everything's gonna be done almost the same time. That's good. Boy, the smells are incredible in here. Mmm, you gonna have some? We're gonna have some leftovers tonight. we will be back in a few minutes. There's one. There's one. There's two. All right. Three. Four. All right. We all completed our pressure cycle. We're gonna go back to, I hear ya. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna wait for uh, about 10, 15 minutes till the pressure releases naturally. I don't think it will be completely out by then, but I'm so hungry. I'm not gonna wait much longer than that. Be back in 10 minutes. And here they are. <laughs> this is gonna be my favorite, I think, Chipotle. 
All the pressure released naturally. What an adventure this was there. Ooh, you want to look at them separately each time I open one? I'm not going to tilt them. Oh, the smells of the Chipotle. Mm, we've been liking that lately. Let's see. Let's see how I can get this out of here. I should have. I got big meat gloves, but. Oh, it's going to fall apart. Should I get my meat gloves? Hang on. Look in here. I forget what's in this one. Do you remember? <laughs> Open it right. Ooh, you remember what's in there. Do you? Do you? Do ya? They're falling apart pretty good. The first time I did a chicken in a pressure cooker, I went for one hour. And I thought it was great, but just completely disintegrated. But it was so tender and good. And then I got 30 minutes, and now I'm down to 25, and... What do you think? Maybe 20 next time? Remember what's in him? Him haul? Him haul? Ooh, that was the garlic butter. I do believe. Yeah, wow. <laughs> and then, least but not last, barbecue. Barbecue and honey. Honey barbecue. That got a good smell. Even though it don't look very colorful. Maybe it does, but it's got a good smell to it. And this garlic butter one doesn't have much color on it, but I can see when I put the garlic powder on it at the end, I can see that all over the skin, like a texture. My favorite, I think, is going to be this chipotle. All right. Now, if I get these out of here and they fall apart, don't let that bother you because it's not going to bother me. Because we're going to break them up anyway, ain't we? I forget if this one has a rack. Yeah, this has a little rack. Don't call back. Yeah! Oh, The rack came with it. If you never had this chipotle, chipotle sauce, you should buy some because it got such a, such a flavor and aroma. And it's spicy for sure. Mmm, that's so good. All right. All right, let's see. I'm going to rinse these off. Keep our spoon palette clean. And we're going for lemon pepper. Come on in. Let's stay together. Ice rack. Mmm. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. See, you like tender chicken? Next time I'll go on 20 minutes, see what happens with that. Now, do I have to come around the front to get the next one? I don't know if I can reach. Let's come around the front. All right. Oh, remember this? <laughs> Thank you, Instant Pot. That was easy. Ooh, the garlic and buttery smell on that one. A lot of butter in there, too. A lot of butter. I still need a ladle. Look at the butter. Mm. All right. They might not look like magazine pieces with their shrunken legs, but they sure smell like magazines. <laughs> A one and a two winner. Yeah. Here we go. Big blue coming back at you. Barbecue. This guy looks nice in there. No rack on this one. Stay together. Stay together. Mm, mm, I need a better implement. Oh. Wow. Lots of barbecue sauce in there. I think he's a genius. 
A heinous heinous. All right. How do we look? Let's straighten it out and get a nice portrait. Mmm. Wow. Let me go around the front here. Ah! Back front, wherever I am. I just want to clean up a little bit. Nice. Who wants a taste? Doggy, you want some? Want some rocks? What do you think? Four pressure cooker chickens. All at the same time. All different flavors. I want some. I'm gonna take a bite. You want a bite? I'm not gonna eat a whole meal. I'm gonna make a probably a sandwich when I decide which one I like the best. But I'm sure I like this one the best. Can you see this? Chipotle flavored. Pressure cooker chicken. And that was in the forecourt. I was amazed a chicken fit in there. What did I say it was like four? 4.1 pounds or something. I think a five pounder would have fit in there. Stop talking, taste it. Mmm. Try to taste all of them. Mmm. Mmm. Oh! Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Mmm. Tastes just like Mama's lemon pledge. We used to have every Saturday morning. Thank you, Mama. Garlic butter. With the garlic powder crusted on top. I think 25 minutes next time, or 20 minutes next time. Garlic butter. Mmm. So many flavors. Oh. Oh. I just can't stand it no more. Barbecue with honey. Remember? And onions. Mmm. Tender. Ooh, I taste the honey in there. Boy, <laughs> what you eat? Chicken. What a fun thing to do. All right, so make yourself a chicken. One chicken if you want. But I just had to try these all at once because I got them and I like to. Okay? I'm gonna make a sandwich out of that Chipotle one. And doggy's gonna have some butter garlic chicken. Right? Okay. All right, everybody. Talk to you soon. Enjoy. Stop back. Subscribe if you like. I hear you. You're going to eat. <laughs> you hear her? I don't know if you hear her. Okay, that was fun. Make yourself a chicken. Make it however you like. All right? And you can buy all these down them links down below, probably. All right, talk to you soon. Thanks for stopping by.